Hello, Gemini. This is your October 2018 astrological forecast. And I hope everyone is having a great month. This is my favorite month. I've been telling everyone. Uh, I love it when the weather starts to change and it starts feeling cool outside. I just love it. All right. So let's get right into your forecast. Okay, so the focus for you this month, Gemini, is going to be on your health and vitality and also daily routine. Why? Because there's going to be a concentration of planets in Scorpio. Now, for you, Scorpio falls in your area of life that deals with your health, that deals with your vitality, that deals with your daily routine. At some point this month, we're going to have four planets in Scorpio at the same time, okay? So that's a lot of activity going on in that area of your life. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so we're going to have Jupiter, Venus, Mercury, and the Sun all in Scorpio at the same time at some point this month, okay? So that's why I say your focus is going to be on six house matters. Now let's look at October 10th. Okay, on October 10th, we have an opposition. We have Mercury in an opposition to Uranus. Now, the energy of Mercury in an opposition to Uranus is that you will not want to stick to your daily routine, okay? You might feel a bit scattered. Um, you might communicate with someone in a blunt fashion. Now, one good thing about this transit is that your mental abilities will be very quick, okay? Because remember, Mercury is the communicator. Okay, so Mercury in Scorpio is going to be in your sixth house, and then Uranus in Taurus is in your twelfth house. So remember, when planets are directly across from one another, they form an opposition. Okay, so Uranus in Taurus is in your twelfth house that deals with your spirituality. So there might be some type of um, conflict or, you know, um, upset, not really, but there might be something going on between your health and your, the secrets you have, things of that nature. So that's just something that you just need to keep in the back of your mind as we go through the month. Now, also on October 10th, we have... Venus in a square to Mars, okay? Now, the energy of Venus squaring Mars, it's, if you're thinking about starting a new relationship, this is not a good time to do it because Venus squaring Mars um, can make you feel a bit off balance because we have feminine energy squaring off with masculine energy, okay? So it can make you feel a little bit off balance during that time and it could cause tension in relationships now for you mars in aquarius is in your ninth house that deals with legal matters among other things so just keep that in mind you might feel a bit off balance um around that time now also on october 11th we have another square we have the sun in libra in a square to pluto in capricorn now, for you, the sun in Libra is in your fifth house, which it, which deals with fun. And then Pluto in Capricorn is in your eighth house, which deals with transformation. So there might be a bit of conflict or a bit of a challenge between um, the fun you want to have and the transformation that you want to see happen in your life. It could be something where, you know, you, you want to stop smoking, but then when you go out to you know, socialize with friends, they're smoking. So, you know, you really have to dig deep and um, try to stick to your plan, okay? Now, also, under this transit, the energy of this transit is that you will not like authority figures, okay? So just keep that in mind. You will not like authority figures, but this is, however, a good time to let go of old patterns. OK, it's a good time to purge things out of your life that just, you know, it, it's just not working for you. So.
So keep that in mind. Sun square Pluto is a great time to purge things out of your life, okay? Now, on October 15th, we have Mercury conjunct Venus, okay? So the energy of Mercury in a conjunction to Venus is that it helps you to communicate feelings of love. So that's really great. Um, let's keep going on. Now, on October 19th, we have Mercury in a square to Mars, okay? And Mars is in your ninth house. Remember, that's dealing with your legal matters. So now the energy of Mercury squaring Mars is that a lot of people might tend to be irritable around this time. People might tend to be irritable and confrontational. Okay, so just remember that this month. Now, on October 19th, we do have a good trine. We have Mercury in a trine to Neptune. Under this transit, you tend to grasp abstract ideas. Now, for you, Pisces is in your 10th house. So you might on a daily basis, because Mercury is in your daily basis house, on a daily basis, you might tend to grasp abstract ideas on your job because Pisces is in your career area. So that's something to look forward to. Now, on October 23rd, we have the sun opposite Uranus, okay? So this is an aspect that causes disruption. It can cause surprises um, and upsets. So just watch out for that because on a daily basis, you have you might have a lot of secrets to deal with around this time because Uranus and Taurus is in your 12th house that deals with secrets. It deals with spirituality. It deals with places of isolation. Okay, so a lot of you uh, Geminis out there this month, why don't get involved in any type of legal disputes or anything like that, okay? Because, I mean, you have Uranus and Taurus in your 12th house. The 12th house deals with places of isolation also. So we don't want to see anybody um, getting involved in any type of legal matters that could, you know, be a detriment to you and have you end up in a place of isolation, okay? So just remember that. Take it easy this month. Now, on October 26th, we have the sun conjunct Venus. This is a great aspect because it tends to help you be assertive on a daily basis. Um, it tends to help you be social. And everyone is going to feel more attractive than usual, okay? And to top that off, we have the weather is probably going to be changing. It's going to be cooler. Everyone's going to be feeling good around this time. Just about everyone anyway. All right, let's keep going on because on October 30th, we have another opposition. We have Venus in an opposition to Uranus, okay? Venus is going to be in Scorpio in the house dealing with your your health and your daily routine. Uranus is in the area of life dealing with secrets, spirituality, places of isolation such as hospitals. So a lot of you out there, if you have any checkups that need to be done, make sure you do them this month, okay? Now let's look at the new moon, okay? The new moon is going to be, I don't have the slide here, I forgot to add it, but um, the new moon is going to be in Libra on October 8th, okay? So I'm just going to pull a card to see, to give you something that you can maybe concentrate on at the new moon, okay? By the new moon being in Libra in your fifth house, you can concentrate on romance. I mean, that's one of the fifth house topics. You can concentrate on romance. You can concentrate on creativity, Concentrate on fun, concentrate on kids, things of that nature. All fifth house topics. Looks like my whole deck just fell. Okay, so let me keep shuffling. All right. This is your message. Okay. It says creative project. Your soul longs to express itself in creative ways. We're guiding you to infuse artistry and creativity in your life. Creative expression makes you feel alive and excited and reignites passion towards your life. Isn't that so befitting? 
you have the, the new moon in Libra in your fifth house that deals, I was just saying that to you. The fifth house deals with creativity, fun, creativity, romance, kids. And this is the card I pulled for you. So at this new moon, all you Geminis out there, concentrate on doing something creative, okay? All right. Now, also, a lot of you have, well, let me talk about the other two planets. I mean, well, the sun and the moon, anyway. The sun is going into Scorpio on October 23rd. So we can start telling all of our Scorpio friends happy birthday at that time. Now, also, the full moon is going to be in Taurus in your area of life dealing with spirituality on October 24th. So if you have any hang-ups or any secrets you need to release, um, this is the time to do it at this full moon in Taurus on October 24th. Okay, so that's about everything I wanted to discuss this month for you. And also, a lot of you have been asking me about um, teaching a class. So I am teaching a class starting in January. If you want to register, just visit my website, metaphysicalmoonlighters.com, and then click on the astrology classes link, okay? Now, the only requirement, the only required book for this class is an ephemeris. And the reason I'm using an ephemeris is because, let's say, God forbid, the internet goes down, you can still cast charts as long as you have that ephemeris, okay? Um... So by the end of the class, you will be able to cast your own chart. You'll be able to cast charts for other people. You'll be able to understand charts, okay? You will get a full understanding of the planets, of the zodiac signs, of the houses, and how they all relate to one another by the end of this class. So it's going to be a great class. And then I'm also teaching um, a personal horoscope, creating your personal horoscope class. That one is going to start in April. Okay. So, um, and that's everything I have for you this month. So um, don't forget to press the like button. Don't forget to share the video and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until next month, Gemini, have a great month.